beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Your cards are a slipping and a sliding. Hmm. Just getting some getting some apologetic energy already. But you know, let's see where things are going. We have we don't even have any cards down yet. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. And welcome to another All Signs Tarot reading. This is a collective love reading. A love reading for the collective All Signs love reading today. It's a timeless reading. It is a reading that if you found yourself here, there's probably a reason for that. It's a general tarot reading, so always take what resonates and let the rest go. And it's where we dive into really just kind of everything, their feelings for you, maybe something you need to know, what's on everybody's mind, is a move being made? Let's see. Let's take a look at this energy that's already wanting to come in. It's already feeling kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm just <laughs> feeling things moving here. So we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, Virgo, Mercury, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Somebody's clearly getting some kind of urge to make some kind of move. So is this somebody who wants to work it out? Is this somebody getting out of ego is what I'm feeling. What was coming in as I was just getting into your reading, we just like, here we go, is that somebody needs to get out of ego to make an apology, but there could be a whole lot more going on. And I feel like this person is going to getting literally look out of shadow. This is an, an energy for me that can come through as a hum humility, like somebody with some humility here. And yeah, that maybe you couldn't particularly count on that you've been waiting on as well for this apology. Let's see, what does this mean? Why? <laughs> Feeling it just got me in this really philosophical kind of energy. It's the energy of this reading here today. I want to remind you that all the playlists are linked in the description below, but also here at the Tarot Closet on the Playlist tab. Of course, today's All Signs, Tarot Readings, Love Tarot Readings, Love Tarot, Love Messages Channeled, Love Messages from Your Person, Messages from Their Higher Self. You will also find all 12 Zodiac Signs. If you like to watch for your sign, your person sign, cross watch, or Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, it's all there. You'll also find Twin Flame readings if you're on a Twin Flame journey and a lot more. So feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Thank you for joining me today for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I really appreciate it. Let's get in some more. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels and Ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Five of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands in Reverse, Ten of Wands in the Upright, Knight of Swords. Somebody has some um, explaining to do. The Moon, the Empress. Hmm. Divine Feminine Energy, of course, Major Arcana Energy. The Empress, this is Taurus and Libra, connected to Venus, the planet of love. Hot planet. Very hot. Hottest. The Empress is connected to the sacral chakra, I feel, and the heart chakra, I love. Is somebody coming in here to open up and reveal some truths? Yeah. It's right here, catty corner with the moon. Pisces energy also bringing in Cancer and Gemini. And i got to tell you, it's catty corner here with the five of wands. And the Five of Wands in reverse. Here with the Moon, the Empress. The Knight of Swords, too, is telling me that somebody wants to work this out. At the very least, somebody has some explaining to do and probably an apology. Ten of Wands, a validation for me of the no contact, no communication and or in separation, or just maybe not really communicating 
in a very open, healthy way, just not communicating at all. You know, just having trouble with that. So it's like just too much already getting out of this energy. Who's the tough nut to crack here? Look, <laughs> in our reading today, there's a walnut here. It's like being pried open. Could it be getting this person to apologize? Because I do feel this is someone who's been in shadow and ego who needs to apologize. And clearly we saw that it's coming through for me in the Knight of Pentacles. And we also have the Knight of Swords here, Libra and Mercury energy. This is somebody who has a lot to say, who has some explaining to do. And it's here with the Five of Wands in reverse, Saturn and Leo. I feel some of what they're getting over is their ego to reveal some truths here that they've been hiding, including the apology. Our Page of Wands in reverse, you could say kind of like struggling with it. And I think that's more about the ego. And what's going on? This is yours. What, whoa. I was just about to say what's going on. Whoa. Perspective, two of cups in perspective. What's going on with this ten of pentacles? Were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's on the table. Yeah, we can see here that this is two people who still have feelings for each other, still love each other. There is a decision here. Somebody does want who somebody who has been getting perspective, who's been yeah, I don't know, doing some work on themselves too, but getting the heck out of their ego. I want to say taking some responsibility, realizing some behaviors because they have a lot of explaining to do and what exactly have they been hiding? The moon, Pisces energy, Cancer energy as well coming through and Gemini. You know, it's the subconscious energy, what has been hidden here. And the moon is in charge of the tide, which is in charge of the emotions. And, you know, you, you get here when you get out of the star, which is a, where you get <laughs> when you get out of the tower energy, like a lot of healing energy, renewal, clarity coming. So whatever has been needing to happen, aside from the apologies some truths, they're also coming here. This person has a lot of explaining to do. I also feel like they're coming to be emotionally honest and open up in a way that they haven't been. Clearly there's love here between you. Could there be some more that's coming in with this Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups? Is somebody coming in here maybe with an offer? I mean, we, there's definitely marriage energy that can be within the Two of Cups. It's not really super clear for me at the moment, although we are seeing it with the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress, which, you know, the Empress can create and grow anything. This is our leader of the 12 zodiac signs. So more than just access <laughs> to water, air, earth, and fire to all the elements. Fertility is new beginning. You know, there's a lot of healing energy here. And interesting, Taurus, you know, our elephant is actually a Taurus. That's the zodiac. And, you know, they're gentle giants. They're very connected to family earth energy. They're also pretty good at moving obstacles out of the way. And I want to say what's interesting is we have here in our deck today, there is a monarch, monarch butterfly, and they generally wait for storms to pass, winds to die down. They, they, they don't go out in that kind of weather, you know. There's definitely timing issues here. Somebody was ready, somebody wasn't. Somebody was available, somebody wasn't. Well, the perspective this person is getting, look at this here. Here in... These hot air balloons, you know, it's connecting us up to the divine energy. But it's, look, it's above all these clouds where somebody may have been indecisive. Also, I think somebody may have made some bad decisions or didn't make a decision. I guess it's kind of, can sometimes be go together. But I am feeling shadow. I am feeling ego. And I'm feeling somebody who has been getting this perspective and wants to get out of this no contact energy. Again, if you're in separation, what you know, what is going on in your situation. Tough nut to crack. Are they going to have a hard time? Is it, are you going to make this hard? <laughs> Did they put it, bring it upon themselves? Probably. But it's somebody here who has perspective now after the fact. Again, was somebody ready and somebody wasn't? Somebody was available, somebody wasn't? Did somebody kind of make some mistakes? I think so. Something has gone on here. This is also connecting me with the hangman energy, Pisces energy. You know, you go in there and you get perspective and you're just kind of working some things out, you know, and this decisions to be made, actions to take. 
you get out of the hangman energy and you go into the death card. And you, you come in a it's paradigm shift. You know, you come in a higher vibration. You come, well, yeah, you come without your ego. This person from the past, how far back does it go? Are they coming in for a second chance? It sure feels like it. There's also something here about them saying they've changed. So it could be that something has been worked out around them that they are completing. Oh, look, two of pentacles. Because the death card energy is pretty strong for me. And that could have been a deal breaker or something that played a part in what happened, you know. So whether it's just getting out of the fear of maybe some commitment issues or ego to even apologize or something more, you know, what is around this five of wands? What have the obstacles and the challenges been? Because this is the reversal energy. Again, it's somebody who wants to solve these problems and is trying to solve really working on trying to solve some issues themselves. So interesting, the Two of Pentacles is coming down here, Capricorn and Saturn energy. It's like weighing out some options. It's a decision. We see a decision here too. Is this just somebody who has been afraid of commitment? Have there maybe been third parties? It could be romantically. Again, it could be other reasons. We keep moving along here. These are Pentacles. Commitment, energy, contracts, relationships, partnerships. So it's the two of pentacles. They're juggling things here today. And definitely could be someone that was even not realizing how they were choosing work. Maybe working, putting work ahead. You know, what is the other pentacle here? Because it could also just simply be that there was, there was some commitment issues. There's not now. Could even be somebody was afraid to get married and have children if that's the case not for everybody move in what is that because whatever was going on here this is somebody who it's like they're realizing it now and coming like wanting to work it out like I don't know are they ready are they making this decision yeah one of these pentacles is yours where is the other one what is that connected to work Simply ego, commitment issues. Are there other people involved? For some of you, there are. And what, oh yeah, look at this. The commitment energy in our Ten of Pentacles. The chariot here with the Empress. Look at that connection. So this, I think this might be some coming back in energy because this is like, I want to, I want to try this again. I want to restart this. It's somebody I feel like who wants another chance. So Coming in here again with the Ten of Pentacles, a new cycle. Mercury and Virgo energy with the Chariot. Cancer and Moon energy. Here also with the Moon, look, we have two dolphins here in the water. It's the divine energy, timing, emotional, the love. There's two here. If there's a potential for travel here, it definitely could be that. We can see it here, you know. But this is somebody who's coming in with... The truth about how they feel and how they still feel, who has perspective now, who I feel like is making this decision. So whether it's it's choosing you over work or there's something they're choosing you over, they are going to come in here and try to explain themselves. We could also be looking at the choice to move forward in something that maybe they weren't ready for. And are you still there for it, you know? And again, we could be looking at things like just going exclusive, Introducing families, moving in. Could be looking at bigger things like marriage, like family energy, you know. But this is the Queen of Swords here, by the way, right in between the Two of Cups and the Ten of Wands, a new cycle. Jupiter and Sagittarius energy, what's been holding things back? Because that Jupiter energy, that's expansive and prosperous. And it's also luck, you know, connects me to timing. Wanting to get out of that energy here. This person has got perspective. They know what they want. And it's looking really highly likely that this is you and your connection. The Two of Cups. The Chariot. The Ten of Pentacles. The Empress. They're revealing the truth here. That's really clear. The Moon. The Queen of Swords. The Two of Cups. The Chariot. And, you know, the Chariot's Moon and Cancer energy. I mean, that's feelings galore there as well. The moon, of course, in charge of the tide, the, which is in charge of the emotions. That's moving forward here. It's coming here with the moon. There's a little bit of immaturity around it in our page of wands, trying to figure it out, struggling. But here they come with the truth. I still love you. I still have feelings for you. 
This is what I want. I choose you. I messed up. Will you hear me out? Because I kind of feel like you're in this energy, tough nut to crack, you know? Because it's also here with this Knight of Swords who needs to conquer this. Look, they're coming here. They need to get the heck out of that shadow. And this Knight energy, of course, is around the movement. And that's the Sword energy, which is transactional. Making this move, clarity, information, revealing the truth of how they feel and what they want. This is somebody who wants to work this out. And again, what is there something in addition to potentially the commitment issues here, which actually they are, because I, I feel like this was reversed at some point, maybe still is, and it's just kind of going ee <laughs> here, because that's some commitment issues, some somebody who's been struggling. And now it's like this point, you get to this energy of, okay, I, I've got this perspective, I want to make this decision, I want to get out of this energy we're in, get into a new cycle, I want to tell you the truth. Are you still there? You know, there's definitely a lot of explaining that I feel like they have to do. Oh yeah, look, five of pentacles in reverse. Mercury and Taurus energy. This is an energy of, this is an energy of loss. You know, something happened here, look, hurt, hurt energy. Gosh, and it's like one of the socks, there's, okay, that's, you can still wear your shoes with that. The other one, oh, that hurts. That's a, then a big toe poking out. It's coming in reverse, which is somebody coming in here to kind of returning and to recover what they lost. I think that might be you. And this five of pentacles in reverse, five of wands in reverse is also giving us a 55. And that's around change. That's around, for me, that's like change is near here. And it's, it's what they have to say. It's what they're coming in here with. Yeah, this is somebody who's getting out of these issues, whatever the heck they are, whether they were working too much, there's something else here, perhaps a third party, it could be, or just their fear of commitment. Whatever this is, maybe not giving time, whatever they're trying, they're working it out in their life. They're getting perspective and getting truth for themselves too, and they're bringing that to you, and there's more. Definitely, this is somebody who still loves you, who you also love. We have the Nine of Cups wanting to come here in reverse. Not surprising because it's here with the Five of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Swords. And this is, you know, it's Jupiter and Pisces energy. It's a wish fulfillment energy. It's one cup shy of the Ten of Cups. So had you built a life where you building it, was it on the table? Is it around family energy or introducing or going exclusive? Building a family, building a life, marriage, what? That's what kind of happened here, you could say. There is, it's one cup shy of the 10 of cups, you know? So whether you were already in that connection and somebody was afraid or they weren't giving it time or what, it is like, a, it's like a broken promise energy for me as well. And it's here with our five of wands in reverse, this person who wants to solve these issues, who wants to work things out. It's just really, really clear. Wow. So we have the star card, and this is also not surprising. A lot of healing energy here, clarity, a hopeful energy, renewal, and affinity, this person coming back in, a lover, you could say, from the past. How far back does that go for you? Aquarius energy, Uranus energy, wish fulfillment. It's the opposite of what's been going on. Like, what happened here? You know, oh, I just realized that. Look how it's connecting <laughs> with the candle today. Stars aligning kind of energy, but affinity, this person coming back in here and it's really healing. It is a very healing energy. So you have a lot of energy here coming in. My gosh, it's like, okay, is that it? Are we done? <laughs> I think we're done. Ten of Swords in reverse. It's the Apology. Sun and Gemini energy. It's putting the Sun in reverse, which is really a validation for me that it's been pretty delayed. You know, that's a delayed energy. It doesn't stay in reverse. But, you know, that's an indication for me of, yeah, the waiting energy. Kind of like waiting for the Sun to come up. Waiting for the Luminary, you know, the Moon here. 
You go from the moon into the sun energy, the new cycle. And that's the conscious energy. You know, it's shining on the moon and illuminating everything here. So I feel like it's like the delay in that, but that's what's coming here with this as well. There is also an apology look, there's perspective here. And that's just been really clear from the beginning. The King of Cups, the Page of Cups. Wow. Well, I like this because it is an emotionally open energy. Empathy. Somebody, this is a sincere apology too. Pisces energy. Yeah, and there has been a really strong energy here of this person coming and being emotionally honest, opening up, really strong energy, and really wanting to, I don't know, restart this, having wanting to come back to, this is somebody who wants another chance, look. And also just even in our page of cups energy, you know, page energy, like trying to figure it out. And who's holding on to that 10th cup? It's a page, which I think, you know, could be an indication for some of you of age, but it's also connecting to sort of where they've been in some ways. You know, it's like somebody trying to figure it out, maybe even younger, but emotionally, like some uncertainty or fear around it. But they're holding on to it now. Are they wanting to... Get this Nine of Cups in the upright. Whoa. Here's the lover's card. Here's our lover. Gemini energy. Also, well, Venus, the planet of love. This is Archangel Raphael, who just wants to heal what's broken. Connected to the heart chakra. But Archangel Raphael is also connected to the throat chakra I speak. I, the truth here, I, <laughs> gosh, the revealing energy. I still love you. I haven't stopped loving you, but it's somebody who definitely made some pretty major mistakes, I feel like, or some mistakes, wanting to apologize, and it's right here on the Two of Pentacles in the upright, like making a decision here now. This is somebody, again, that was and might still be coming out of some kind of commitment issues. Again, what exactly they are could be any number of things, but they have perspective here. They know they need to apologize. They need to be honest with you, too, about something, but also how they feel. This is somebody who definitely loves you and I feel is definitely coming in here with some kind of offer. I mean, that's just been really clear, just even the way the chariot wanted to connect with our ten of pentacles, commitment coming here literally down to the two of cups. So we could be looking at something big here too, where this is leading to marriage or back if you were there. Had you built a life, were you building it? Was it on the table? It's on the table and it's somebody coming in with it, you know? Wanting a second chance energy is really strong. And that's the other thing. It doesn't always bring in that energy, but they're, with everything that's happening here and how that they're coming in, I do feel that there is a decision that's being made. Synchronicity. Wow, timing, it's coming here with the Eight of Wands, the High Priestess. Oh my gosh, the Six of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so they're also, they are working on, I want to say coming in, like leading the way by coming in here with an apology. What happened in the Seven of Swords? It's in reverse. What happened with the Seven of Swords? Because it's in reverse now, and this is somebody who needs to apologize. There's an energy shift. It's somebody who wants to, to make peace. Clearly, they have perspective. Aquarius and Uranus energy. Because in the Seven of Swords energy, there was some dishonesty. There's somebody who ran, who pulled away, who wasn't clear. It could even be for some of you there was some kind of betrayal. That's not incredibly clear, but it's, you know, it's coming here with the Ten of Swords, which is in reverse. You know, clearly that's the apology around the Ten of Swords, the ending, what happened, and our Seven of Swords is right here. And it's definitely something they are working on in the Eight of Pentacles here. The Sun in Virgo energy, so uprighting that Sun energy, which has been in reverse. And yeah, 
look at this. And we still have more here to look at, actually. So let me just bring them in. The Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, this is just really clear. So we have our, look, we have our King of Cups and our Queen of Cups. The Divine Masculine energy of our King of Cups, the Divine Feminine energy of our Queen of Cups. You know, the counterpart in the Cups energy. We have the Two of Cups here, too. So how they feel about you is just not even a question for me, and they, the truth is definitely coming around that. I mean, it's here. It's also telling me that you're both here, and we already know that and with the Two of Cups. The feelings that you have for each other are strong. There's a lot of love. There's an emotional connection. It's just clear. We can also see that part of what they pulled away with, and there's a lack of reciprocity that went on in the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Moon and Taurus energy. And it's coming here with the Ace of Pentacles, somebody ready now for next level, going exclusive dating, moving in, marriage, children, what is it? Introducing families, because they need to apologize for this first, and it can't be empty. It is a sincere apology, I'll tell you, because there, they were, it's the lack of the reciprocity there. And they were giving something else more time do you know what i mean but they were also maybe maybe it's just around themselves like kind of a selfish one-sided energy and again i just want to validate if this is around a work situation too that maybe somebody was just spending way too much time and now they're realizing whoa <laughs> i lost this so, somebody that i really love a very good thing here i mean i'll tell you look at this our ace of pentacles again coming here well, connecting with our Five of Pentacles in reverse to come and recover, like what they lost. This is somebody who's, it's very much on the table, ready for this next level, who's revealing their feelings here. Look in the timing, my gosh, synchronicity. Coming here with the Eight of Wands, hearing from this person, coming in really fast. Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sagittarius energy. If you can see this person, these feelings what they're coming here with, the truth, <laughs> so much more. And it's going to happen in person. The reunion energy is here. So either way, there is a huge reveal. It's here also with the High Priestess. So this is really clear. But for some of you, perhaps it's around a literal message. You know, that Mercury energy of SMS, social media, email. I mean, it definitely is just going to be really specific to you. But making this decision here in the High Priestess to reveal... The apology, the mistakes they made, and the hope for another chance, and the fact that they kind of want to go, they want everything. So were you there? Had you built it? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's really coming back in here. It's just so incredibly clear. If there is actual travel and driving, look, just even here with our chariot. I mean, we could be looking at by sea, by car, you know. But of course, it's not for everybody that there's an actual return physically with traveling. Maybe just not right away for some of you. Maybe it's no. here. <laughs> that camera is going to make me crazy. You didn't really miss much. I watched it go off. So I was just talking about whether this is in person and traveling or not, or it's just a message or not just, but a message or a phone call. You know, it's Mercury energy and it is coming in fast. And they, the, this person, yeah, I love you. I still love you. I was stupid. I'm sorry. I made so many mistakes. I do choose you. I'm working on it. So what does that mean? Are they working on something specific? Leaving a job, something they're changing? They definitely want to, they're working on something too that's kind of like part of all of this, but they're also working on coming here with you, to you, and revealing this truth and more. This is way, way more than truth and an apology. The High Priestess, Divine Feminine Energy, Cancer Energy. Look at the decision right here with the Two of Cups. So yeah, next level, big time. Six of Cups, Sun and Scorpio Energy, very much in their nostal nostalgic energy around you. It can be you've known this person for many years. There's a childhood energy. Could even be that there's some, some of that energy involved in the past or current or even future possibilities energy with you. I want to say family, children energy. Not for everybody. 
But this is more than anything, this is around just all the energy that they're in, the feelings and the reunion energy. This person, this lover from the past, how far back is this going? Again, it's just really specific. Look how, <laughs> how this is coming in. This lover from the past here, this is what they're thinking, but there is a move being made. It's incredibly clear. I, I, I want to say if you don't already know, if you haven't already been feeling it and hearing it from other people, get ready because it's incredibly clear. Okay, I want to bring in, it's interesting how your reading has turned out and synchronicity. I want to bring in a deck, you know, of, hold on, I'm just going to leave this here. It's Oracle and it's like cosmic timing energy. So I'm just, let's see what it has to say, okay, around what's going on here. Are there any specific dates <laughs> look what just came in the winter okay interesting but you know it's going to be um time will show so it's like the time will tell and time will tell kind of energy you know and what i wanted to say about this winter energy is very clearly it's also going to depend on what hemisphere you're on because <laughs> look what else is here then there's summer at the bottom so yeah but it really aligns for me in this way because it's also saying time will show and I just gotta say there the hemisphere energy is really strong too and this is a deck that I don't generally read from I don't read from it very often but here you have it so you know there's a lot of varying energy that's here so what I, I want to say is this really for me time will show it's really just Timing energy, it's specific to you. But look, we also have June and fall time here. So what I also want to validate is are the seasonal energy of kind of how you got here in the first place. Things taking place, upcoming energy, and also the future possibilities here. Because this is definitely... This is somebody from the past. For some of you, it does go really far back, not for everybody. There is a soul connection that is just incredibly clear because that's the other thing about the Six of Cups. It's like a feeling, you know? I mean, everything is here, really. What are we missing? Spring. Hmm. Okay, let's bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. I'm watching you from afar. It's Page of Swords energy. You are my other half. It's connecting to the lover's card. Soulmate energy. The universe brought us together. Synchronicity, look. If you're on a twin flame journey, that energy is definitely here. It might be really specific for you. And if you want to dive into, like, you know, a more detailed for you Twin Flame reading, you can find them in the playlist. Just so you know, I was wrong. I heard our song today. It's connecting with the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups there. I miss you too. So somebody's sending that through. Please forgive me. Emotional. I was stupid to let you go. It's here with the Ten of Swords in reverse. I mean, this is way more than an apology, but it is here, and that was an energy that was coming in pretty strong. We were we were destined to meet. The universe brought us together. Look, it's going here with synchronicity. It's hard getting over you. I miss talking to you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. There's way more going on here than this is not somebody. I'm starting to understand our connection. It's right here on winter. This is not somebody who is staying in this nostalgic energy and not doing anything about it. This is just really, really, really clear for me. It was me, not you. I miss you so. 
beep, <laughs> beeping much. And there's a response here, like, I miss you too. Which doesn't surprise me. Six of Cups, Two of Cups, the Lover's Card, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. You love each other. It's just not even a doubt. Never doubt my love for you as I say that, okay? It's here with the emotional energy, the connection, and it could be looking at an emotional reunion here. These just fell off. Please never give up on us. I miss you. You are my other half. We will be together again someday. They fell off. I'm going to put them back. Maybe they come back. Maybe they don't. It's just a little bit too many to keep, but I wanted to show you. What do you want to say to your person? Channeled love messages. My world is dark without you. I still want you. We belong together. Messages from their higher self. You are my biggest wish. That is the star energy. That's it. Will you wait for me? I have so many regrets. Right here in the Ten of Swords in Reverse and the Seven of Swords in Reverse. Big apology there. Don't give up on us. Give me time. That's interesting. As we look at this summer, fall, winter, you know, energy that's here. And then we have that energy of time. Basically, time will tell. So we could be looking at the amount of time that's passed or still is to be. I just feel like it's really specific. I am so sorry. I hurt you. I love you. I could listen to your voice all day and night. And you have changed me for the better. I love you. I love you. So the telepathic energy here is strong and I'm not surprised at all. I'm trying to send you a message as I say that right here with the Eight of Wands. Again, we could be looking at literal messages for sure. I miss you. I miss you too. Here it is again. Do you think of me too? I'm sorry. I took you for granted. I'm sorry I took you for granted. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. You inspire a love in me. I never knew. Beautiful soul, that is your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here watching, liking, sharing, subscribing to the Tarot Closet. Thank you again. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye.